been a month since we started full timing, so we thought we'd recap our thoughts and feelings, and we're doing it from inside the truck because the kids are sleeping right now, even though it's still light out. It's light out really late here, and we can't do it outside because there's a highway nearby, so there's a lot of trucks and stuff. Plus, Make there's a lot of noise. mosquitoes. And yeah, there are, there's a bunch of mosquitoes out over here. So yeah, it's from the recent rains. It's yeah. Been, that's the worst part of it so far. Yeah. The mosquitoes, but it's only been here. Anyway, um, I have my notes. What I like. <laughs> <laughs> we I, have similar things. Yeah, we have similar yeah. things. The, the best thing I so so far, we're still going to do it. Like it's not like it's been a month now. And we're saying, oh, that's it. This is terrible. We're going to pack in. No, we're enjoying it. Um, my favorite aspect of it is is the variety. Um, you know, as they say, variety is the spice of life, and. Um, satis being able to satisfy that kid-like curiosity and constantly seeing new things so nothing gets stale. I love that. Like, you know, you're in a place for a week, you see a bunch of sites and, you know, I mean, most of the time I'm just working, but, um, you know, you get to experience the area and then you get to move on and, and experience a whole new area and see new things all over again. And so, yeah, it's like, it's just constant new things that are you're encountering and I really like that. Yeah, the moving. We like the moving day. And, and yeah. I mean, we've been in the South and Midwest up until now, so I'm really excited to actually see some mountains when we head yeah, west. So, we're heading towards the Rockies now, so. Yeah, so I'm getting a little bit, like, you know, impatient the last couple of days of this week because <laughs> I want to get out towards mountains and right. all that. So, um, but other than that, I think the month's flown by for me. Yeah. Um, My but, other. Thing is, oh, I have a few things. My, well, my other one is meeting new people. Oh yeah, like meeting people in RV parks that you know it's really interesting, especially with Airstream. Like the Airstream people are always just, and maybe we are too. I just see someone with Airstream, I go up and start talking to them, and then you know they give you their phone numbers and they start talking about this and that and join this club or here's how you fix this and you know they're all super friendly and it's very interesting and being able to you know I feel ten times more social than I felt when I was just living in suburbia and kind of locked in my own house every day. Yeah, uh, oh, that's nice. Um, we So far we've been in this, this is what, the second KOA? And, yeah. And, and I mean, they have kitty rides, have ice cream social, you know, so it, it kind of is nice because we don't really leave our Airstream at night. So having something to do like that for the kids has been nice, yeah. um, the variety. Uh, having shade is really nice. I find that this is that's what I look for now when we book into a, an RV site because it's been so hot. Um, yeah. I like the daily routine that we've settled into where I take the kids out for one outing in the morning. I bring them back and Logan takes a nap yeah. with John while I do something with Livia. I mean, by take a nap, I mean he naps while I'm working. I'm working anyway, so he naps and then Jess can go back out with just... Workshop. Yeah, so like I went to the grocery store with Livia today, and then I, uh, yeah. you know, would take her um, swimming or we do art or something. So it's been that's yeah, routine been the nice is part. the routine is huge, I think, for especially with the, with the kids. The routine yeah. just makes it easier to handle on a daily basis. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, family and friends, I think, is a is the big one too. Yeah. So far, and we've been. So we've, the very first week, it's only been a month, and in that month we saw a whole bunch of Jessica's family in Houston. We saw my, our uh, nephew Wesley, who we're a legal guardian for, graduated from high school in Alabama. And then we just saw my cousin and her family um, Kansas in Kansas City, yeah. City for uh, just one night, one day, but I haven't seen her in nine years. And in a few weeks we're going to see friends from Hawaii that live in Colorado. So like, and this is all just in the first month. And these are all people and places that we never would have seen if we weren't doing this because we would never, you know, yeah, we would never fly out for yeah. one day or even like, I'm not going to take a week off of work to go go to Houston, yeah. you know, off for so vacation. Two so. surprising things that I found myself liking. They're small, but they make a big deal. One is laundry. <laughs> I like being able to just do laundry all at once, like, you know, with the big washers and, um, I mean, sometimes the coin laundry is a pain, but I mean, all the reception people... That's a good pause because that was on your list of fears. Yeah, it was. A it month was, ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and cooking in the Airstream. I can't believe it. Like, I, I hate cooking. I don't like cooking. 
But I actually enjoy cooking in the Airstream, and I think it's because John takes the kids outside and gives me that time to cook, and then gives me that time to clean up. So it's actually kind of like my time, even though I'm doing something like cooking or cleaning. Yep. And so I'm actually enjoying cooking and, you know, um, making simple meals, but healthy ones if I can. And it's been kind of a positive. Yep. Um, surprises for me is another uh, just like we went to Springfield Missouri and I was really surprised by the aquarium there which is a, I didn't even know it's apparently the top one in the country or North America it's only two years old it's absolutely oh God, unbelievable <laughs> but us. um going to a place and I mean and granted we might go to some places where we have high expectations or something and then maybe they're not met and you're disappointed but on the flip side of that is you know we end up stopping at places where we're just stopping because we're passing through and we have to but you end up seeing or experiencing something that you didn't plan and that's that sort of fresh unique surprise thing just keeps i guess that comes back to variety and stuff in your life but that that makes just life in general i think more interesting being able to oh i didn't expect that or this is interesting oh wow look at this yeah. you know things that you didn't expect to see on your trip you know that didn't yeah. fall into what you were planning. Springfield was nice because the the KOA we stayed at was really shady and it was pleasant. It wasn't cool. I mean, it, it wasn't hot. It was cool because of the shade. And so we spent a lot of time outside with the yeah. kids. The kids played outside a lot. And everyone was very conscientious about driving slow. So it made it feel safer, although I was still nervous with them around cars. But they had a play space, which I liked, um, you know. So it's it's by far our favorite stop because of that yeah. reason, um, you know. Outside of family, seeing family in other places, yep. that's you know, so far. Um, space inside the airstream, so that I gotta say, for me at least, has not been an issue. Hasn't I'm, been an issue for me either. It's. I mean, it would be nice yeah, if I had a dedicated office workspace for working, but. I mean, as far as, oh, we're, you know, we just were so cramped and crowded. It's just, to me, it feels cozy. And the Airstream is light and airy enough when you open up all the, the shades that, you know, it doesn't feel cramped or claustrophobic. Yeah, um, even when the it kids rains. Can even, even when it rains, the kids yeah. can still play in a little. And, yeah. and so it's, and we're not even, we're not even out of storage space. Like we still, we've, we've packed pretty efficiently, but yeah. there are places storage areas and stuff where we just kind of threw stuff in and didn't bother organizing and there's still space in there where we still have room to put stuff yeah. doesn't mean we're gonna go out and buy anything but well, um I'm, I'm it surprised. hasn't been an issue really yeah, as I'm much surprised. as like yeah. because you know i come home with like five six bags of groceries yeah and and i can fit everything in there so that's yeah i think the difference is you just i think it just makes it makes me realize i think at when you have a house it's just all the crap that you have in there like 90 something percent of it you're not using on a regular basis yeah so we just don't have that stuff we're still yeah, using but there's a few things that we have that john's like have you used this once i'm like once and he's like well that's not airstream worthy so <laughs> yeah. he threw it out <laughs> yeah that kind of thing yeah. but um yeah. yeah i mean the what i like about the airstream is the seating area wipes down really well i'm surprised because we had like, like spaghetti today yeah and i'm constantly wiping and cleaning but I think, um, you know, it, take, it doesn't take that long and it makes me feel better when the place yeah. is clean. So. It gets, yeah, you got to clean it every day, but yeah. like it takes, it's so small compared to cleaning a house. You yeah. just, yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Um, some dislikes, I'd say bugs. I'm still completely like bitten up <laughs> and I keep putting bug spray on me and I started doing it in the kids, uh, like a plant based thing for them. And I use something a little more deadly on me just because they like eat me up and I have so many bug bites and I just can't yeah. that's the most annoying part of it so far um let's see the hotness that's you know that's a little bit unusual because yeah, I'm not that used yeah, to and that's I not guess. really a, I don't even know if that's a traveling thing. that's just yeah. you know I mean you're hot wherever you live if it's right. really hot so and I mean um you know traffic the kids around traffic I still worry about that and then Livia running off like that happened a couple times you know, today and I had to really talk to her about it and you know kind of make her realize how 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 yeah. how stressed it makes me and how dangerous it is so and then the last thing that I think uh, you know some downside to it is uh, I'm tired so I don't have time to work out so I haven't worked out at all since we've been on the road for a month and all the hard work I've put into like kind of getting fit and healthy and yeah I think it's that again I think I mean that's 
that falls, I think, under the category of full time. Yeah. Full time mom, like because if you're at home and they weren't, at, I mean, if they're at daycare, yeah, you'd have time. But if yeah. you were taking care of kids full time, there's not, there's not much difference as far as how much effort you have to put into it. Yeah, that's true. I, think I mean, then, I, I can get up at like four a.m. to do it, but I just, I'm too tired. I just can't do it. So yeah, I'll have to really try hard in the next month to yeah. carve out thirty minutes a day or three times yep. a week or something. For me, so for me, overall, after one month, I, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to everything that we still have kind of planned out and the places we're going to be um, in the next few months and even maybe next winter, you know, if we're still going and stuff. So, yeah, I don't really have any, I don't have any feelings of like, oh man, how much longer are we going to do this or we're we going to quit? Like, I'm pretty psyched for it still. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's only going to get better just yeah. because we're, we're slowing down our pace a bit more. Um, a lot more actually when we yeah. get um, and the to kids Colorado. get older every month like Logan yeah. is getting more and more yeah we, like you, Logan's getting better yep um, so and and hopefully Livia will, will get better as far as like listening to me and not running off but I think uh, slowing down would make a big difference because we've been moving pretty yeah, much well, like two times a week where there's well, changing spots or whatever yeah so um, and we just really just wanted to get out of the south and the midwest because of the summer heat and and yeah. right now we're in like tornado alley it's uh it's yes. you know yep yep that kind of so. thing so yeah all in all it's it's been good yep yeah my mom still thinks we're crazy but <laughs> that's, that's you can't change that Sorry. My mom's like, oh, I'm following everywhere you stop, and I'm getting such a good geography lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knew Kansas City was in Missouri and Kansas? That's new to me. But anyway, that's it. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>